Hi, I'm Mihir Joshi and welcome to the MJ Show. I'm in the house, I'm in the jam room, the music room, the guitar room, the television room of one of my favorite guitar players uh, in, the, in the industry right now. I'm talking about uh, the incredible Ehsan Nurani. We're going to talk to him about so many things. I've got so many questions for him. Ehsan, welcome to the MJ Show. And, Thanks. Um, how does it, how do, how do you transpose all of this to the work that you do in Bollywood? See, the thing is that, yeah, there's the influence of the blues and whatnot. Hmm. And there's the entire songwriting influence, which, you know, when I was in, when I was in uh, 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 America studying, hmm. we studied styles of guitar players. Hmm. And one of the styles we covered was of, of Andy Summers, of hmm. the police. Hmm. And I'm telling you, man, he was such a, a head guitar player for his time. You know, the kind of chords that he played. Yeah. Like, there's a tune of it. Goes and he wrote these chords. Mm. Just see these chords, you know, it's just like so unusual. Right? Yeah. He's just voiced like this chord. But he's voiced it this way. Nice. And he used that chorus and the delay and then he, you know, all these big chords. You know? Yeah. Then these. So the thing is that I incorporated all this into my songwriting. Okay. You know, and Ranjit Barot and I had a band called Mickey's New Home. I mean, which two, two, three concerts we did. Uh -huh. But we were like a progressive pop band. Okay. And that's where I learned a lot of songwriting. The two of us together. Okay. You know, about how to write, you know, using one triad, changing bass notes over it to get a certain movement, you know, right. under your vocals, right. you know, and how to write hooks. And so, I mean, there's a lot of influences. Then I started doing jingles. Yeah. And that's where you really learn how to songwrite because in 30 seconds, you're you writing got a, a hook, yeah. which is like a song, yeah. Yep. You know, yep. so it's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of music that I listen to. Yeah. Whether it's 80s rock or metal or today I'm like, I was just listening to the new, a new Alice in Chains album. Oh, nice. Which is superb. Okay. You know, or listen to some new age music. I mean, I'm listening to stuff all the time and not listening to it from just an academic point of view. You listen yeah. to it because you enjoy it, you know? And Absolutely. that's my, like, you know, it's cool every day. Correct. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the Alice in Chains song, is there an, any song on the album well, that you're I, really actually, loving? I can't even remember the name of the new album. It's just on my iPhone. I just bought it from iTunes. Okay. But it's a great, I'll tell you what the name of the album is also one sec. Okay. Yeah, The Devil Put Dinosaurs. Okay. Great album, man. Great production. <laughs> Huge guitar sound. There's a lot of stuff, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to check out the Alice in Chains album, but what I'm going to definitely uh, ask you guys to check out is a song that you're going to recommend by the police. Because I know, uh, in fact, if I remember right, your caller tune is three or two, two three different exactly, yeah, yeah. songs I've always of the police. Those, so yeah, I'm a yeah. huge, I'm sure you're a huge yeah, police yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am police so, and Sting. I mean, the police whole, and Sting. Yeah, yeah. So tell me one song of theirs. Actually, I'll do really one like. of my favorite songs for which for me was a big learning experience was a song called Do 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 Da 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 from uh, yeah, Zenyatta yeah. Mondato, you know, which is just... Now he's got this part. He, uh, Andy Summers is playing this and the bass is changing on top. Oh. Do, do, yeah. do. So it's just like an orchestration that you see happening. <laughs> and you're trying to say, that is he moving the chords? What is he doing? No, he's just playing this. With a Brilliant. delay, you know? Yeah. Which then you two took on uh, the edge, took further, you know, with yeah. what he did. Correct. So, I mean, I, I'll tell you, listen to this song because you can really hear the way Andy Summers plays. But more than anything, listen to every police album and every sting <laughs> album. That's essential listening. Yeah, listen for a to guitar every player, musician, album. anyone, anyone who's into Have music. Have you seen them play live? No, man. I missed their last reunion the last tour. Reunion yeah, tour yeah, that just yeah, happened. I and they played wondering. in Bombay, and I, I didn't go to see them that was because quite a while ago, right? yeah, I didn't go to see them because I had a bloody secretarial practice exam the next day. <laughs> 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 Why did I do that? Yeah, I, I didn't, you know. So anyway. That's karma. If nothing else, pick up a Greatest Hits album of The Police, a Greatest Hits album of Sting to get you started off in your journey of uh, checking out their songs. So, okay. So, as I was saying, so you've got all these varied influences mm. which kind of come into the mm. music making for, for Bollywood, for mm. Shankar Ehsan and Lawyer. So, uh, can you take me through like one song, like one song that people really, really love and maybe how did you get the hook for it or what did you, or maybe well, something from Rock On because people always see, associate uh, that with your guitar playing. As yeah, well. I mean Rock On, I mean everyone knows that this dude. This riff was in Laksh. If you saw the film Laksh, yeah. there's a part when Rithik is climbing this mountain. Right, and then right. he's like rappling on okay. the mountain. And we use just this. Oh wow. Okay. Just this. We use that. And a lot of people <laughs> like that, you know? Okay. And uh, I mean, of course, we didn't pay attention to it. It went in the background score. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, Shankar suggested let's do a title piece, title song for Rock On because with a title like Rock On, you need to have a title song. Correct. And of course, we argued and stuff about it. But eventually when we did the song, we said let's use the same riff. You know? no, so, yes. so, I mean, this all comes from the kind of rock that I've you know heard and yeah. you know, there's so much, so much of 80s rock. Yeah. All those bands, you know, Poison and uh, Sticks and you know, Are You a Speedwagon? No, it's and yeah. it's it's such a fantastic song. I think yeah. I remember when this album came out, and uh, everybody would say that you know you can't have rock music in yeah. a Bollywood film and all of that. And it came out, and yeah. everybody was talking about it. Everybody yeah. was loving it. Uh, I also remember. Um, Got to tell you this. Uh, I know you. I've told you this before, but uh, my band actually did this song. We did Socha Hai. And yeah, you do that. We did. Yeah. yeah. Mary Laundry. Yeah, 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 we did that and every time we played it anywhere and we'd play mostly we'd play English yeah. covers back then but when we played to a uh, maybe like in a mall or whatever we'd play one or two of these songs yeah, yeah, you get the house and the, uh, the response that you would yeah, get yeah, yeah. was so phenomenal. Mm. So I was like... I, I in fact, I think we introduced one of the first uh, death metal songs to Bollywood also. Song called Suraj, Zerile. the one that Suraj sang. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. <laughs> so, uh, but we did the basic riff. Hmm. I had my amp mic'd up and stuff like that. And the so it was sounding great, you know. So the engineer said that we've got the sound here. Put a reference solo down, you know. Yeah. And that solo happened in one take. I just played once. I, I can't even play it now. <laughs> I really can't. Because yeah, not your, really. the, not it's the not kind of thing scene, that yeah. you generally do. It's not yeah. my scene, but that solo came in this one shot. Yeah. And I'm never going to play it again. <laughs> because the thing is that it's not my style. You know? yeah. In fact, Sarosh, his guitar player, he gave me a transcription of the solo again. You know? Okay. I said, man, I can't sit and work it out also, man. I can't <laughs> play it once and I can't play it again. You know? Lovely. Uh, you know what? Uh, in, in your live concerts as well, uh, I know, in fact, uh, uh, one of the guys who's played with you in the past is a good friend of mine. He was, I was just asking him, you know, uh, what, are the con what are the songs that people really loved? What was the things that you would love mm. to do as a guitar player. And he told me there used to be this acoustic set that, yes, that we you do guys an unplugged still do, set. an unplugged yeah, set, yeah, an unplugged set yeah. where it's just you, Loy and, and yeah, Shadari. Yeah, and the thing is we do a lot of the tunes which are like B-sides, you know, which right. are, I mean, tunes like Tanai, yeah. all those kind of things. There's a bunch of songs, man. And we do all those. You, you have these little And there's a solo pieces. break that I used to take, which right. I now don't do because we just for a change, okay. where I do this entire solo. In fact, in fact, if you look on... Uh, on um, uh, on YouTube, there's mm. a video that says S on Rocks IIT Bombay or something like that. Okay. IIT B or something, you know, whatever it's called. Okay. And uh, they've got a clipping of this, you know. So I just do this entire solo in D, which is just like doodling. Mm -hmm. Stuff. And then I used to break into this. Which is a tune from uh, Laksh called Agar Me Kahun. Agar Me Kahun. So, and that was the way, you know, I used to break out of the solo with the guitar solo from the song. And then I'd stop and the audience would go, ah, the thing, and then I'd break into it. <laughs> nice. And of course, it was just the entire place would erupt. Uh, in yeah. fact, uh, Poopsy, our friend that we were talking about, yeah. he's played with you yeah, yeah, for many, many years as well. Uh, he was also saying that you used to do something like this before Dawn, the, the song from mm -hmm. Dawn. Mm -hmm. what, what was that? What, what, what did you Well, do? actually, we used to. Uh, we like we, then, we then, no, no, we incorporated this into the Rock On, uh, into. into. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Shankar would say, man, go and play, you know, play the riff, man. Huh. So I'd like pretend like, you know, I don't know it, so I'd play. <laughs> And then uh, I'd say maybe Sean, the other guitar player, knows and he played that riff. I mean, I don't know how to play it. Huh. The opening riff of Sweet, Ch Sweet Child of Man. Oh, okay. Or oh, Shankar said, what are you guys playing, man? <laughs> and I'd play. Huh. No, I'd say, man, you guys have lost it. And then I'd do. <laughs> 
and of course the entire audience would just freak like, out go yeah. up in flames yeah fantastic stuff so i mean i'm sure for you performing live must be yeah. so much fun i mean yeah. i'm sure working in the studio making yeah. all these brilliant songs yeah. happen is one thing but playing live it's to great a, fun great fun man i mean and and what if uh, it's a difficult question but Shankar Ehsan Loy concert versus a blues concert that you're playing. They're different, man. Blues concert is intimate. It's very, very about your soul. Yeah. Shankar Ehsan Loy concert is high energy, man. Yeah, and probably to fifteen, twenty thousand people at times. Fifteen, we played for eighty thousand people once. You know, it's like that's big. Nice. It's big. In Goa, we played once for like hundred twenty-five thousand people. Oh man. So that's big, you know. So, but it's that's a different trip. Yeah, that's like all rock and roll and big lights and big sound and big crowds and yeah all that whereas a blues concert is just like 100 guys and you know and a small club and, and that's it that's it